What's up everybody, Prefix Wiz coming at you with another Unity tutorial. So today I'm going to give you a simple tip on how we can use the cloth feature with Unity's new Pro Builder feature, and that starts right now. Okay, how to use cloth with Pro Builder. Let's go ahead and open up Unity. So first note that we do have Pro Builder already installed in our Unity project here. And in order to do that, you go to Windows, Package Manager, All, and you just scroll down until you see Pro Builder. And then there'll be a little install button here that you can install for. All right, so moving on. So here I just have a simple sphere and then put a black material on it so we can see what's going on. So we're gonna go over here to Pro Builder and we're gonna create a shape. And that shape is going to be a plane. So once you have the plane up, let's reposition it to 000 and then place it just above the uh, sphere there. All right, so let's say you wanted to edit this plane. Uh, you wanted to make this cloth specific to its mesh. And uh, for cloth, to, to make it more realistic, we got to have more segments in there. we got to have more verts. So let's go ahead and do the segments at 50 and 50. And we're going to go ahead and build out the plane. Okay, so here's our plane. And uh, obviously you can see that it's in Pro Builder. So we're just going to grab some faces here and bring them up and let's do the same thing over here. We just wanted to change the way it looks and that's why we're using Pro Builder. Okay, so now that we have our basic shape, let's go ahead and duplicate that so that we have a copy of it. That's Control D to make a copy of it. And let's go ahead and turn that off. All right, so in the plain one, as it is, it's a Pro Builder object. So you can still manipulate this in any way you want. So in this case, we're just gonna add a component to it. We're gonna add component, go to physics, cloth. Okay, so now we have a cloth component on it. There's an issue that we have with Pro Builder and the cloth component. And the issue is that it can't remove the mesh render that Pro Builder has made with the current mesh that it has because the cloth wants to use a skinned mesh render. So what it does is it tries to convert the mesh into a skin mesh render. That way it could manipulate it and use it as a cloth as needed. But Pro Builder won't allow that because it's using the mesh render as a reference to uh, manipulate that same object later. So we're having that conflict there. Now you can still use the actual cloth uh, as is. So let's go ahead and just check this out real quick. We're going to use a sphere collider and the sphere that we're going to use is the sphere that we created earlier. On this plane, there's a skin mesh render and this is what the cloth created. But up here, for the mesh render, this is what Pro Builder created in order to manipulate that mesh all right, so let's go ahead and select this plane. Let's go ahead and hit play. Now let's pause that. So what you're seeing here is two different meshes. You're seeing the actual mesh render that Pro Builder uses, and then you're seeing the skinned mesh render that the cloth uses. So obviously that's not what we want. Now there's two ways to work around this as it is, and this is the workaround that we're talking about. You can either just turn off the mesh render, and let's hit play, and now you won't see the actual mesh render, but you'll see the skin mesh render. OK, that's one way to do it, and that's to keep it editable so that you can edit it later. The other way to do it is if you're not going to use Pro Builder with that specific object anymore, we're going to go ahead and disable this one since we already have the cloth on it. But we're going to go ahead and enable the copy that we made earlier. OK, so with this copy, what we're going to do is come down here into the Pro Builder tools and let's export it. And we're going to call it cloth and let's go ahead and save that. So if we come down here in our assets. We now see that we have a cloth. So let's pull that back into the scene. Now what this does automatically as an object is it brings it in under an empty game object and then places the mesh itself under a new transform as a child of that cloth. Okay, so what we're going to do is just rename this cloth. All right, and then we're going to take this and remove it from being a child. So let's just drag it into the main scene here. And let's go ahead and delete the empty game object. All right, so now we have a cloth here, right? Or we have an object called cloth. And notice it has a mesh render on it. But anytime you add a cloth component to a mesh render, it will automatically replace the mesh render with the skin mesh render. So let's go ahead and add the cloth component, physics, cloth. And you can see that it replaced the mesh render with a skin mesh render. So let's just go ahead and remove, and move this back up to 000. Let's turn off everything else. And right now we only have the cloth on. All right, and let's add the collider sphere. Okay, and let's hit play. There we go. And now we have one object with one mesh render on it, which is the skin mesh render for the cloth. 
Okay, super simple way to work around using the cloth and pro builder at the same time. As always, man, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, hit that like button. And in either case, subscribe.